Hello, everyone. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. And your new Trends Journal is coming out. And unfortunately, this is the cover. When all, all It's all failing. Yep. The economy, Ukraine war, judicial reform, Middle East meltdown, refugees, crime, government corruption, violence. But don't worry. As I say, when all else fails, they take you to war. And welcome to the latest round of war. How nice it's going to be. All you have to do is keep supporting it. Be a stupid piece of shit like all those other dumb shits that keep supporting war. Let's support now the Middle East meltdown. That's right. One of our top trends for 2023. It's right there. We warned about this. We warned about it. Again, when all else fails, they take you to war. And we had that Judicial Reform Act by Netanyahu. Oh, only about what? About 36 weeks, people taking to the streets. Oh, in the words from the Jerusalem Post and others, it was a civil war actually going on in Israel. The people so opposed to this. But mine's off it now. Uh, all the news now is about Hamas and their attack. Yep. Page after page, front page after front page. Hey, guess the Ukraine war is over. They're not talking about that anymore. We're only talking about thousands dead in Israel, a couple of thousand died dead in, 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 in Gaza. Yeah, that's all. We'll just concentrate on that. And again, not a peep hardly not at all from the prostitutes of why this happened. And again, these are just a few, a few of the clips that we did earlier this year, warning, giving you history before it happens. Listen. Netanyahu completed a coalition deal on Wednesday, banning the raising of the Palestinian flag and include expanding Israeli settlements in occupied West Bank, stealing more Palestinian land. It's fine for the Israelis to steal all they want. One of your top trends is going to be Mideast madness. You are going to see tensions increase between the United States and Israel against Iran. It'll be hell on earth. Hey, how about the barbaric of what Israel is doing to the Palestinians? Only killed 30 of them this year. One of our top trends for 2023 is Middle East meltdown. That the United States and Israel, they're doing, they're doing major drills as to attack Iran. Since 2017, Israel has carried out more than 400 airstrikes in Syria. What hypocrisy. I'm saying to you, there's going to be a mini meltdown. Latest incident comes on the heels of the deadliest year for Palestinians in the occupied West Bank in East Jerusalem. The soldiers entered the Palestinian town to demolish three residential apartments belonging to the families of Palestinian militants. So you're a militant if you have a country illegally occupying your country, turning it into a concentration camp, open air concentration camp, and you're fighting them back, you're a militant. Middle East meltdown is about to happen. The implications of this are going to increase World War III and drive up oil prices. They're stealing the land. It's not their land. If any other country did this, you know, it would be terrible. And go back to our top trends of 2023. Middle East meltdown. You better get ready for it. We told you, you better get ready for it. And here we are. This is from a June 20th Trends Journal. We remind Trends Journal subscribers that in the 1967 Six-Day War, 
Israel invaded and seized Palestinian territories of the West Bank, East Jerusalem, Gaza Strip, and the Syrian Golan Heights, expelling some 300,000 Palestinians from their homes while gaining stolen territory that was three and a half times Israel's original size. To date, some 670,000 Israelis live in the occupied West Bank. Isn't that a nice term, occupied and settlers? Oh, yeah, it's happy trails to you until we meet again. Oh, yeah, you're going over. There's nobody around. What settlers? What occupied territory? It's stolen land. Got it? I know. Moses came down with 15 commandments, dropped five of them, and the five that he dropped said God gave that land to yeah. And 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 that's when the world began. Oh, the skull that they found, what? The uh, 40, 60,000 years ago, that didn't exist. There were no people on earth then. It all began then when Moses came down with the 10, Ten Commandments. Anyway, then we go on to say Israeli settlements are illegal. Got it? They're illegal under international law. They violate Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention of 1949, which states, quote, the occupying power shall not deport or transfer parts of its own civilian population into territory it occupies. And then we go on to write, UN recently criticized Israel's historic treatment of Palestinians. The Trends Journal has reported extensively on the tensions between Israel and Palestine under the new hardline government in Israel. C, hunger strike, hunger striker death sparks rocket exchange between Palestine and Israel. May 9th, Israel kills three more Palestinians during another deadly week. March 14th. Does Israel seek a final solution for Palestinians? 14 February, 2023. Israel is about to approve 4,560 new housing units in parts of the West Bank. Yep. Then we go on just to show you some of the articles that we've been writing about this. So there's no surprise what's happened. If you're in a concentration camp and you want to get out, are you going to do anything you can to get out? And are you going to be going out of your mind to do it? And you think you care who you kill after they're killing whoever they want to kill? We need peace on earth and no one's talking about that. All they're doing is talking about who's going to keep fighting. Here are some articles. August 25th. 2020, Israel continues Palestinian purge. Special report, the Gaza War, 18 May 2021. Apartheid state of Israel clamping down on Palestinians. That's right. Human Rights Watch, a whole bunch, a whole number, according to the United Nations, it's an apartheid state. Unprovoked Israel, unprovoked Israel bombs Gaza, killing 43 Wounding hundreds, August 9th, 2022. Israel raids ransacked human rights groups and church, August 23rd, 1922, uh, 18, uh, August 2022, 20, 2022. Israel kills four Palestinian teens, October 1st, 2022. Top trend 2023, Middle East meltdown. Israeli MP wants to wage war against Palestinians. 10 January, 2023. Top trend 2023, Middle East meltdown. Israel ramps up deadly raids on Palestinians. Gunman retaliates in front of synagogue. January 31st, 2023. February 7th, 2023. Israel keeps killing Palestinians. Again, on and on. I get there's tons of them here. Six Palestinians killed in latest Israeli raid on Janine refugee camp. That was June twentieth. As protests against the judicial reform escalate and its airport is shut down, 
Israel launches biggest military operation against Palestinians in decades. That was only July 5th, 2023. Israel ramps up killing spree, July 11th, 2023. Israel carries out airstrikes on Gaza as tensions in regions rise. 3 October 2023. Oh, you mean a week ago? When all else fails, they take you to war. If the United States joins up with Israel and goes after Iran... It's the beginning of the end of life on earth. We have maniacal people in charge of a country near you. Another one of our articles. While Israel calls them settlements, they're illegal land grabs under international law. They violate Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention, which I just mentioned. The UN Security Council, the UN General Assembly, the International Committee of the Red Cross, the International Court of Justice, and the high contracting parties to the convention have all affirmed Fourth Geneva Convention applies, and that is occupied territory in Israeli settlements. They are illegal. Again, this thing goes on and on. We have so much, so much. Yep. You ready for this? Today, Reuters. UN says civilian sieges prohibited it as Israeli strikes Gaza. The United Nations Humanitarian Office on Tuesday, October 10th, that nearly 200,000 people or nearly a tenth of the population have fled their homes in Gaza since the start of the hostilities, and they are poised for shortages of water and electricity due to the blockade. Israeli operations, air operations, have struck residential buildings, including large tower blocks, as well as schools, UN buildings across Gaza, resulting in civilian casualties, the United Nations human rights chief said. Such acts amount to war crimes UN human rights spokesperson later clarified in a Geneva press briefing. All right. And these are the headlines. Hundreds of targets have been hit in Gaza by Israeli by Israel following the Saturday incursion from Hamas terrorists, the group that controls the Palestinian territory in Gaza. More than 200 targets were struck in Gaza by Israeli forces in just one day. In Gaza, at least 900 people have died, among them 260 children and 230 women. Another 4,500 have been wounded. Since Saturday in Israel, at least 900 people have been killed and 2,600 others wounded. Israel has the right to defend, but it has done it has to be done in accord with international humanitarian law and some decisions are contrary to this international law. This is the Burrell of the uh, EU. And then this one, Harvard students called morally repugnant for blaming Israel for attacks. No, Israel could kill anybody that they want, and they may kill me. And you're an anti-Semite if you don't swallow the crap that, quote, Israel has the right to defend themselves. No one else does. No one else does. This is stolen land. End of story. All the facts are there. There are articles that you might want to read. I would suggest you go to Chris Hedges articles. P 
Palestinians speak Israel's language. The indiscriminate shooting of Israelis by Hamas and other Palestinian resistance organizations, the kidnapping of civilians, the barrage of rockets into Israel, drone attacks on a variety of targets from tanks to automated machine guns are the familiar language of the Israeli occupier. Israel has spoken this blood-soaked language of violence to the Palestinians since Zionist militias seized more than 78% of historic Palestine, destroyed some 5,300 Palestinian villages and cities, and killed about 15,000 Palestinians in more than 70 massacres. Some 750,000 Palestinians were ethnically cleansed between 1947 and 1949. Prime Minister Netanyahu warned Palestinians in Gaza on Sunday to, quote, leave now because Israel, ready, is going to turn, turn all Hamas hiding places into rubble. And he goes on to write, but where are the Palestinians in Gaza supposed to go? Israel has blockaded the land border, the border. There are no exits by air or sea, which are controlled by Israel. You can trap 2.3 million people in Gaza, half of whom are unemployed, in one of the most deadly, de densely populated spots on the planet for 16 years. Deprive them of basic medical supplies, food, water, and electricity. Yep. One article after another. Oh, by the way, Chris Hedges is a Pulitzer Prize winner. And a bunch of articles. And um, this one we have over here. Common Cause, I believe this is from a woman by the name of Phyllis Bennis fellow at the Institute for Policy Studies and serves on the National Board of Jewish Voice of Peace. And she goes on to say, generations of Palestinians, 80% of them refugees, have grown up in the teeming impoverished Gaza Strip, one of the most crowded pieces of land on earth since Israel besieged Gaza in 2007. Most of them have never been allowed to leave the walled-in military-guarded strip. So, there you got it. Again, we've been writing about it, warning about it, and now it's come about. And don't call me an anti-Semite, like I said. I got a load of Jewish friends. They're all opposed to this. Eldad Benari, one after another. And three of my last four girlfriends were Jewish. So, don't want to hear it. Just like I condemn America's wars, I condemn everybody's wars. This is an illegal, what Hamas did, these are people totally opposed to what they did. Totally opposed to it. Just like I'm totally opposed to what Russia's did and totally understand it. If you were at a concentration camp and locked into it and being attacked over and over and over again, what would you do? If somebody broke into your house, a gang, Took your wife, your kids, yourself. All right, you, from now on, I'm in control of your house. You're going to do what I tell you to do. Oh, yeah, be fine. Yes, yes, sir. This has to stop. We need a peace movement, and I launched Occupy Peace. I'm doing everything I can because we are on the brink of World War III. Ukraine is out of the news. Out of the news. Out of it. All it is is about Israel, and all the support goes to Israel. You're not allowed to say anything else. Like those students at, oh, oh, oh in Israel? In Israel. In, in, in the UK? The F-U-C-K? Yeah. The UK? The murder is fucking British, where the sun never sets on the British Empire? Yeah, those, those Brits, the billionaire over there, clown boy? Yeah, king. Yeah. If you raise a Palestinian flag, 
they're going to fine you, send you to jail or something. They're putting that out there now. You're not allowed to support the Palestinians. So now go on to the Trends Journal. Again, if this war escalates, kiss the economy goodbye, kiss the equity markets goodbye. It's over. It's over. You're going to see oil prices if this goes on to $130 a barrel. What will happen? The Federal Reserve is going to have to lower interest rates then. They're going to do anything they can to jack up the economy. And I believe that the plunge protection team is ramping up the markets now. The market should be de declining rapidly. Again, all your data is in here. Oh, did you see the new shipping numbers that just came out? No, you didn't, huh? They suck. The prices for shipping are down 90% of the numbers coming in into the United States and Europe from Asia. Europe is in a recession. When all else fails, they take you to war. Got a load of articles here. I'm going to run through them quick. Again, great article by Gregory Manorino that you're not going to want to miss. He's really on top of this stuff when it comes to a lot of things in the economy. And uh, Joe Duran on um, technocracy. Washington on the knife edge. A guest article by Colonel Douglas McGregor. And Manorino's article is liquidity crisis, no problem. You ready? Just start another war. You got it. Right on target. European countries promise Zelensky more weapons to keep blooding the killing fields. USA tries to hide Ukrainian corruption. Putin says Russia is not interested in more land, wants to negotiate. Hillary Clinton, only believe what I tell you. That's right, little Hillary Clinton. How could they keep quoting her? Don't believe any crap coming from another country. Only believe the shit. Swallow the shit from the American prostitutes, the little fucking media whores who get paid to put out by their corporate pimps and government whore masters and ban people like me who speak for peace. They're war whores on parade. I have major rallies, no coverage. Can't give any other view other than from the military industrial complex in America that brings freedom and democracy to a country near you. Trends in the global economic front. What else? Oh, a whole load of articles there. Your, your Eurozone economy shrank in third quarter. Yep. Go on. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. And okay, loads of loads. Oh, oh high tech science articles. AI, whole section. Yep, trends in high-tech science, trends in AI, trends I view, all about these, these uh, a lot of the stuff about these weight loss drugs. Oh, who the weight loss drugs are hurting besides the uh, people taking them. And what else? Trends in geopolitics, a lot about it, what's going on in Israel. China's reactions. On and on and on. We're giving you what nobody else in the world is giving you. The facts are all there. Again, we called. We said that the markets would go up in November of last year. At least 16% in the S&P 500. They did. In July, we said the markets would go down in September. They did. And we said they're going to go down in July. And we still believe they are. But again, it's a rigged game, plunge protection team. Can you imagine a gang that rigs the markets? They're going to do everything they can to, to bring this up. But this is, this is a whole different, I want to make this really clear. This going on now between Israel and Hamas is different than ever before. It is not going to end unless there is a peace treaty. And it has to be a true peace treaty with a free Palestinian state and Israel to stop stealing all of the land that they want. 
We need peace on earth. Again, what religion do you believe in? Whose God do you believe in? And if you believe in God, you tell me the God that supports murderous wars. But again, do religions have lockjaw? Where are the preachers for peace? So please donate to Occupy Peace because we really want to get this peace movement going before it's too late. It's only up to us, to we the people, to stop it because the politicians will kill us. They got a great track record of doing it. Which is your favorite war? I like the Peloponnesian War. Now the War of Roses was so lovely. A hundred year war, now the First World War. Well, the Second World War, now the Vietnam War. Wait, all right? We got maniacs in charge. It's up to the people to bring life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness back. Thank you. And don't forget tomorrow, Salenti and the Judge. And we have a lot to say tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Bye-bye. At the Trans Journal, the best investment you could make because it's the best investment into your mind and it can change how you look at the world. His work is actually a gold mine. Anybody interested in politics, political trends, economic trends, social trends, cultural trends, you have to follow him, Gerald Salente. The Trends Journal is one of the greatest sources of information, and it's uh, and it really is. You're predicting these things well ahead of time. I would encourage everyone to go grab the latest copy. Been a Trends a Journal subscriber for 20 years. I just have to commend you. What you guys have put together in your latest Trends Journal, there's nothing like this out there. Sir, everything that you predicted about the economy, you are absolutely right. So I, I, I have followed you all this time. So please take a look at the Trends Journal. You correctly forecast that the Fed would hike rates quite aggressively. Correctly said that initially gold and silver would drop as the Fed starts to raise rates to one and a half percent and above. When we spoke last, Bitcoin was around 49,000. You said you expect to drop and if it drops below 30, 35, then it could really drop. Trends Journal, which I would encourage people to go and check out. It's actually a 200 page document, pure data driven analysis. Gerald Salenti, the top trends forecaster in the world. Gerald, you had an interesting call back in September of last year. You said gold had bottomed, which is exactly what happened. And here we are and we're above $1,900. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happened at trendsjournal.com.